I killed a vulture. Oh, I could take a feather. Think anyone would mind if I took this feather? I won't. I've heard it said that plucking a feather from a fallen bird is a noble gesture of compassion and respect. It that. works for me. Of course, the guy who said it was drunk at the God time. God damn it, Flux. And everyone else thought he was a God moron. God damn it. Of course. Of course, because it's insane to do. Where else would it be? All right, I've got a feather. What else? I need to think of something to do. What have I got? Feather, sign, a book. A book on how to get, how to pick up on evil squirrels. Interesting. What if... It's got work on this guy. Where the hell can I get something like that? Oh, God. Hey, Carrie. You're looking as malevolent as ever. And there's Fluffy. Is there anything in... Uh... I'm thinking now, if I retrace my steps, what if we go back to... to uh, Qtopia? Like, let's go in here real quick. Oh, but just then. I can with these three. All right, man. Let's split up. Uh, but, but what if one of us gets lost? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, God. All right, man. Let's stay close. Let's check the bakery. Oh, uh, I could be wrong, but I think Nefarious's henchmen are about to make a special guest appearance. We'll give it away. What the hell are we going to do? Uh, oh, let me think. Girl concussion bagels after What? The <laughs> In the cupboard. <laughs> that was beautiful. Move it! They can't have gotten far. <laughs> that was a full on animation. They didn't check the pantry? Okay. You should always check the pantry. Shh. Where did they go to Be quiet. anyway? I'm just happy they're gone. Yes. And I think I'm on the right track as well. I wonder, what do I have that would... I've got butter. Do I give it to them and they make stuff with it? Here's some butter, boys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <coughs> butter. Aw, oh, thank you, friends. Now, allow me to treat you to the yummy wares of my Day Young Bakery. Day Young joy, Bakery? Joy, Yeah, happy. Okay. And we got dough. There you go. One freshly prepared lump of raw dough, yeah. Yum. What the hell am I meant to do with this? Ah, it felt wonderful making dough again. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so happy. Me too. Completely, perfectly happy. Fabulously, amazingly, wonderful. Okay, I get it. You're happy. You're happy. Enough of this. Yeah. If only Ray were here to celebrate with oh. us. <laughs> Boy, that didn't last oh, long. Oh, exactly. Now I've got dough. What the hell am I going to do? Do I give it to him? No. Can I do anything with the piano? Okay. Oops. I got piano keys. Okay, that works. For the most part. I wonder... Let's go talk to the woman in the uh, costume shop real quick. I want to talk to her real quick. She has an interesting look. Sort of a nouveau retro. Very pointy in certain categories. Like a high. Don't you start. Shit. Don't you start. Like, welcome back. Okay, let's talk. Uh, hmm, 
that book. Are you still reading that book of insoluble puzzles? Insoluble puzzles? For sure. The only time I put down a book is to, like, pick up another. Well, I actually have a book for you. Well, see you later, Miss Fit. For sure. Stay rad. I don't think I need this book, but what if I trade her books? There you go. Would you like to trade books? Switchies! Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel? Oh my god! I think she likes it. No way. Way. What a totally cool book. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And now I got this. Let's read it. Let's read it real quickly. Enigma. A book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. Paradoxical. <gasps> oh, Mr. Robot. I have a thing for you. That's going to give him a headache. Carrie. Malignant squirrel. Come on. This way. And if we go over here, back to the Malevolands. Let's see his head explode. Look at me. I have buns of steel. Of course you do. You're a robot. But you're about to have a headache when I'm through with you. Let's have a read of this, shall we, Mr. Roboto? Hey. I said, let's have a read of this. Boy, this is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Say, would you like to hear a story? Of course not. Oh, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. A genie? The smartest genie in the world. Okay. He certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever I'm pretty sure a toaster's genie. cleverer than you. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to what? see him. <laughs> Did she? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See, I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing? Oh, you know, I get it. What's the one question you cannot answer? This is absurd. I... Well... I... It's... Can't answer my question. And that's a Stop paradox. It. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Headache. Explode. I Explode. Answer. Nothing. I can't. Oh, I don't. Feel Explode. Well. What have you done, impudent meat puppets? What have you done? Done. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Was smarter than old Bolt Brain. So what is the one question he can't answer anyway? Oh, for the love oh, of boy. it was a paradox trick question, Flux. A paradox trick. Never mind. That means I could take the plunger. I'm gonna need it. Power plunger. I'm gonna need it for the fish flusher. Take it. Let's take the plunger. You blow off a guy's head and then take his plunger. Now that's low. Hey, I'm on a quest. I'm on a quest of badassery. And I might as well take a few bucks off him as well. Or Just bolts. Just another example of the power of the written word. Exactly. Just another oh. example of the power of the written word. Can I do anything with his head? I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. Fair enough. Now, I now have a plunger. And a fish. Let's go flush them. There's those little bee eyes again. Oh, no, don't need to use these flux. Come on, other side. Now, does Zany do? All the way. Thank you for choosing Zany Do Tours. What, what? The building on your left is Jim's Gym. Thanks, Flux. And on the building to the left of Jim's gym is the Flush Flusher. Now, I know it has to be a certain fish. I looked it up. I know, I looked it up. But it has to be a certain fish. I'm not sure why it is, because it was such a long time ago since I looked it up, so... First things first, plunger. 
<laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. <laughs> the shock probably would have blown his head clean off. Again. That hadn't happened already. Right. Now that that's operational, shall we flush this red herring? I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Oh. Goldfish. Goldfish. That's the uh, Surin one. Oh, did I get one? Nasty. Cut out the toilet humor, Drew. I know you can do better than <laughs> that. Okay, let's try it again. I love how the pictures are moving as well. Missed it. Come on, something good. Oh god, not again. Wrong one. Cut out the toilet humor, Drew. I know you can do better than I that. I think it may be red, not red, uh, either the green one or was it was the, uh, gold one. Go fish! Go fish! Oh, red. And I got what I gave away. Cut out the toilet humor, Drew. I know you can do better than that. Right, so it's not this. Whenever you're ready, Captain. Let her rip. Flush away. Go fish. Okay, come on. Okay, I think one something. Oh, that must be it then. It must have been green I now need to get. Don't know what I need green for, but... Eh. Only one way to find out. Alright, there's nothing in Jim's gym. I'm almost regretting doing this, but let's go see hi to the Divas of Destruction. Girls, how's it going? Still with my cream being this. <laughs> Quite anything that Spend they would like. Meat. A mallet? Why do they like a mallet? Pathetic worm! We've tried that before! Okay. I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. More you Sack of mutton! I have an idea. <laughs> if physical abuse isn't it, what about tickling? More! Will this work? A feather. A feather. A feather. A feather. A feather. It's brilliant. It works! It is. Think about it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh my god. Ah, of course. That was a shot in the dark. Oh, you worms may take some glue. Uh, okay. Thank you. Punisher Polly doesn't like ingratitude. Uh, thank you, thank you very so much. much. Now let's leave. Feel free to stick no. around and watch. No, 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 no. Tickle me, my wild and woolly worms. Let's get the hell out of here. 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 Come on, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. I don't need to see this. Gee, I just love happy endings. Is this a happy ending? Can we go now? Is this a happy ending? Can we just go? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. I do not. Repeat. Do not want to be in the barn for that. What am I missing? I got a book, a plunger, a fish, glue. I'm not, I've not used any of this yet. What would I use corn for? Uh, actually, I want to go talk to Fluffy. I don't think I ever actually did talk to Fluffy properly. Hey, it's Fluffy Fluffy Bum Yes, Bum. I know. Okay, let's talk to her real quick. Have I? Hello, Fluffy. Oh, boy! My special friends are back! We're not friends. Drew. 
If I ever get like that, shoot me. Oh, I will. With pleasure. Oh, the barn. I guess you heard that Nefarious hit the farm. I know. And I think it's just terrible. Of course you do. But in times of trouble, there's no point getting upset. You just have to take a deep breath and smile and say, Damn Oh, you, God. Damn you, Nefarious. That was my barn. My barn. <laughs> and what I mean is, you should always look on the bright side. Okay. Happy day. Happy day. Whatever you say, Fluffy. You psychopathic you too, buddy. Fluffy. You psychotic weird rabbit, you. I guess Nefarious' attacks have you pretty shaken oh, up. Oh, more than just shooken up. Yes, but it gets much, much worse. You see, some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. So what's wrong? It's cotton candy. Oh. But I prefer popcorn! Spoiled what did I do to brat. this? I'm just a perky, cute little bunny with shiny soft fur. Ooh, I have a mouth. I'm going to smash her. Why me? Right. A spoiled little brat. That's what this is. I want to get the mallet and hit it. So, Fluffy, what's so bad about cotton what's candy good? anyway? sweet. Well, gee, nothing at all, I guess. You guess. Except that I hate cotton candy. Brat. Oh. See you later, Fluffy. You You'll be back soon. It's hard to stay away from such cuteness and charm. <laughs> Flux, if I give you a gun, can you shoot her? Hmm? Okay. I don't know why, but I... Why would I ever want cotton candy? But what if I give her the corn? She can make her own popcorn. Here. Oh. I did that again. I hit the wrong button. Okay. Here's some corn. Make some popcorn. Hey. Fluffy, how about some nice corn on the cob? Uh? Oh no, I don't think so. Oh. I prefer popcorn! Jesus! Whoa! Whoa, it's me! Sorry. Okay, okay. Then I need to pop this corn. Where would be a good fireplace? Oh, the bakery, they have a, they have a cooker. Or not. They don't. Where would have a fireplace that I could use, or... Oh, a fireplace. Let's, uh, Wood King Hue, or... No. The Malevolence, they would probably have a fire. Let's go to the Malevolence real quickly. No! No! Uh, Big B's place! Big B had a place that had a fire over it. What if we use that? Oops, God. Wrong button. If we go back to Big Beast, what if... Yes! Oh, we're gonna have corn on the cob. That's a very sharp spit. And we're gonna use it to pop the corn. I knew this place would have more purpose than White already does. So what if I combine this with this? No. What about this? There must be a more convenient way to do that. Okay, I don't see what can be more convenient, but let's do this. Pop that corn, Drew. That was cool. But Neat. remember, don't try this at home. Remember, kids, fire is dangerous. And now I have popcorn for the little brat. What if I cook the dough next? It'll burn up if I just toss it into the fire. Right. Is there anything else I can use, like... The wolf's dinner table. Crushed. By us, truly. Uh, oh, 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 what about this? I'm saving the world, not making dinner. That'd be delicious. How am I meant to cook this, but... You know what? I'm gonna leave it be for the time being. I'm gonna go give this brat her popcorn, and then let's move on. Okay, Fluffy, here you go, you spoiled little rabbit. Here's some popcorn. Enjoy. I hope you choke on it. Fluffy, we have a special surprise for you. 
It's popcorn, isn't How it? How could you right? guess? Isn't it? Huh? So oh. what are you waiting for? Give me my popcorn! All right, all right, uh, here. Sure, here you go. Enjoy. Popcorn! My favorite Oh, boy! Here, you can have this old cotton candy. Thank you. I hate it anyway. Thanks. You spoiled brat. Now what do I have pop... What am I meant to do with freaking cotton candy? This doesn't make sense. No, of course this game doesn't make sense at all. Oh well. I got something else I can do. Is there any place else I'm meant to go? Perhaps the Malevolence. Or the Elephant. Let's go back to CDs. Cloak it up. What am I... Oh, the God played on. There we go. Activate cloaking device. Shape of a cloak. Don't mind us, <laughs> We're just, just passing, passing through. through. Then hustle, unless you want to see my fist passing through okay. your okay. face. Okay, let's go. Now, what would I be doing in a place like this? There's a bear playing bowling. Watch him do his 710 split, which is very painful. <laughs> or. Oh, wait, I got glue. Oh, I'm loving this game because I'm thinking like a cartoon character. We glue the ball. <laughs> a bell trap. And it works. Yes, poor bunnies. <laughs> now he's seen stars. Good style, good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. I give him a penny. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> uh, CD, it looks like there's a lane open now. CD? He is, isn't he? Excuse me, sir. Uh, what Drew's trying to say is... Aloha, dung ball! <laughs> what do you two losers want now? No, we're never seeing that again. Never again. It's three henchmen. You know anything else about Nefarious's henchmen? For crying out loud, I told you the whole story. Well, I want no more. These tree half-finished creeps owe Nefarious their crummy zombie lives, so they pretty much do his bidding, no questions asked. Fair enough. Got okay. it? Okay. The rabbits. Can you run through the rules for bowling once more? <sighs> Score a strike and win the golden pins. Right. Or don't, and fail miserably. My money, by the way, is on you failing. Well, my money's on me miserably. winning. Okay, so there's nothing new. Say, to... uh, why don't you just beat it, mister? No, oh, is that all you got, flower girl? Then eat crap and die! <laughs> by George, I think she's got it. He does. All right, well, it looks like there's a lane open. In the Malevolence, everything deviates from the straight and narrow. Even the bowling lanes. Hmm. Let's have some fun, shall we? What the hell are you doing, Drew? <laughs> CD was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. <sighs> well, using these balls, I can't. What about Flux? Where do you think you're going? Flux? No, not again. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that happened again. CD was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. But what if I used Flux as a ball? Flux. Burn, baby, burn. Let's have some fun. <laughs> no? Okay, or... 
Bird. I know this may be kind of yes. unpleasant for you, little buddy. I knew it. But I want you to know that it hurts you more than it hurts me. Of course. Aw, that's sweet. Hey, wait <laughs> a minute. Scoop him up by the butt. <laughs> Hold on tight. <laughs> right. And back to go. You did it! Woo. Thank goodness. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your no, butt. No, I would never do that. A strike. I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use your special technique. Get the trophy. No ifs and or buts. Those two chumps scored a strike. Yeah. Now it's a the trophy. Strike. Nobody scores a strike but me. Uh... CD. Oh, don't be a sore loser. <laughs> a strike. Look, CD, I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? Please. We kind of got to get going. Ah, oh, take it, you losers. Oh, are you <gasps> crying? Yeah. Ta-da. Go ahead. Destroy my business. Destroy my reputation. Sure. <laughs> I can handle it. No, you can't. Jeez, I hate to the see man, a grown man who's wearing cry. a tutu. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. Exactly. <laughs> Just go. I guess this means we can't be friends. No. <laughs> Presto. Changeo! Presta Roo! Out comes Drew and Flux Capaz. Well, so far so good, but I still don't know what I need to do with this damn loaf of dough. I need to cook it. There must be a more convenient way to do What's that. What's more convenient than that? The plunger? Actually, I better not, or no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about this? Make that no. There's something here I'm meant to use, but I need time to figure it out. I'll get it eventually, I'll get it. 